Champ, you happy? Huh? He's excited. If he was any closer to me, you'd be on the other side of me. Okay? Hey, it's a preacher, and I'm out here in the backyard, and I'm going to get rid of what I think is an eyesore. It's the office cubicle deer stand. About three or four years ago, these office cubicle parts, and that's what they were, parts. There were some posts and some walls and partial walls, and they were in the attic at church or upstairs where we don't use in just a big open storage area. And they were stacked everywhere, and they were just kind of a mess. And I had an idea. I was like, hey, that would make a good deer blind. So I hauled them home. Of course, as you can see, the insides are uh, white. And so I was like, you can't, you can't hunt of a white deer stand. I mean, you, not that the deer wouldn't get used to it, but it'd look stupid. So I painted it, and uh, uh, I never really could decide where to put it. So I stuck it here in the backyard. And there's a little salt block down behind me. You might see a lane down through the woods there. I think, I've never sat in here. I think once, one evening my son sat in there. And, uh, no, he sat in there twice. One time deer ran behind him through the yard by the garden. And one time he had a buck and a couple of does at the salt lick. But, it, really, if I was going to try to shoot deer on the salt lick, I'd just sit on the back deck and shoot them. So, this is just kind of here because I never knew where to put it. Well, now I've got an idea of where I want to put it. So I'm going to try to one-man gang it up onto this trailer and move it to where we're going to put it. And I'll probably end up putting a roof on it too, but that'll be later. So let's see what we can do. It's not that it's that heavy. You can't pick up the panels if you lift the panels up to take them off. So if you try to pick it up by the panels, you just pull the panel off. So you kind of have to pick it up by the rails. And that's what, it's for office guys, not hunters. Who knew? Let's go roll it out. Okay, we got her where we want her. Now all we need to do is probably put a roof on it. I don't know if I will or if I'll just put some some uh, netting up here in places to kind of break me up. Um, but yeah, eventually I will put a roof on it. I just don't know when. The main thing was to get it out of the yard on a trailer and over here. So I got it here and now we're, we're good to go. Um, let me show you kind of what I can see from here and why I wanted to put a stand here. So I'm at the top of a ridge and there's some just old junky trailer there. And uh, this breaks off and it's pretty steep. And there's an old home place over there with a horse walker. And to that, to that biggest tree right there is about a, I'd say 100, 120 yard shot. Now if you pan back this way, you'll see I, I'm looking through a long draw down through there. And I've cut open some shooting lanes with the brush hog. I think you can kind of see. I can see up through those woods. So anything traveling that draw, I've got shots at. Then there's an opening, and I need to get rid of some of these low-hanging limbs, as you can see, and so I'm going to do that. But that gives me about 225 to the fence in the next field, about 200, 225. Then there's a pond um, here, and uh, coming back up the other side, it drops off into woods, and that's about an 80-yard shot. Uh, up through there. Now I'm going to go down through here with a chainsaw and a little pole and limb limb saw and get rid of some of these low hanging limbs so I got some broader places to shoot through here. Okay we're back in the box stand and I've done some trimming so now I've got clear shots anything comes by the pond. Uh, I cleaned up that pecan tree down there. These pecan trees and pin oaks right here. There's my trailer with some limbs on it. Cut a big limb off this oak tree. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's on the ground now. There you can see the spot where I cut it. But that's about 225 if I remember right to those trees uh, right there. So I've got a good clear open lane to shoot down through with no obstructions. Uh, same here, can shoot down into the timber 
if anything comes through that draw I've got good clean shooting lanes there so I'm ready to set in it now um, I think it'll be a good place um, thanks for coming along with me today and uh, hopefully we'll video some deer out of this thing in a couple weeks see you guys then